Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm finally going to be installing some V-Land headlights and I got them right here. I still have it wrapped up, but yeah, I'm going to be trying to do this today. So I did get the headlights from the V-Land website themselves, so I'll leave them linked down below and they provide basically everything. So the only things you'll need other than like than to wire is the actual bulb itself and i have leds right now and i'm gonna try and make it fit i believe the vlans take h7 bulbs and mine are h11s i'm gonna try and make that work if not i'm obviously gonna have to buy new ones so i'm gonna try and do one off camera first and then figure that out and then show you guys how i'm doing it the next thing you're gonna need are some wire connectors or quick t-tappers and i went to autozone yesterday to go get some but I didn't find any that I wanted. I didn't want to use the ones that you have to heat up. And I only went to one. So I just gave up. And I'm just going to be using electrical tape. So yeah, it's probably not the best way to do it. I would recommend to use T-tappers. But I mean, electrical tape is going to do the same thing, honestly. So if that's what you have and it's easier for you. I did post that I got these on my story on Instagram. And a couple people did say that they would want a detailed video. So I'm going to try and make this as detailed as possible. Let's go install these headlights. So I did jack it up a little bit and it's really hot today. I chose the wrong day to do this. Show you guys how to remove it just so it's like a step-by-step -step tutorial, you know? If you do have one of these tow hook license plates, you wanna take off your license plate, but mine is obviously off. You're gonna need a 10 millimeter. So 10 mil to take off the bumper and then it's just a bunch of freaking clips are on they're working in the front yard so i'm like trying to hide as best as i can but if you hear noise that is why when you go to the bottom you're gonna see which one is connected to the bumper so this is like all ripping off kind of but it's fine and i have holes from when i had my lip but we're gonna take off this one and there's one on the other side as well and then there are clips as you can see i'm missing some i guess You're gonna take off these four, I believe, bolts and then all of these clips. One. Um, why that dog is always barking when I'm out here. I don't think he likes me. I've never seen that though. We're gonna pop the clips out. Okay, I'm gonna get a little flathead screwdriver just because I don't wanna do it with my nails. But you can use almost anything. You can get a flathead or anything but what you want to do is get in between this don't try and go from the bottom because that's not how it's held on it's literally just held on like this so you're going to want to put your flathead through there and just pop it up it's literally just like that you're going to have to remove your side markers which is not that easy sometimes i do have a video on when I installed these side markers and it did give me a pain, but they're actually popped off. <laughs> Honestly, so many things are like not, they are not in their correct spots because when I crashed, like everything just kind of like disassembled. With this, you're gonna want to get a little flathead and put it in through here and literally pry it out. I really don't know how to explain it. It just kind of comes out, but try not to break it if you're gonna reuse these. I think I might not reuse them. There's like a little A clip that's supposed to go right here, but mine is broken. And the other side just completely doesn't have a side marker. Since I can't really show you guys, I'll leave my video linked down below so you guys can see exactly how I did it. And I feel like I gave a way better explanation in that video. I think my other video is way helpful. Way helpful? Way more helpful. That clip. Do you see it? Use anything. Use your flathead. Use one of these little things out. Missing one, as you can see. One there, another one there, there's a leaf stuck, and another one right here. And then at the bottom, there is this one right here. So, yeah. Yeah. Remove this little plastic tray. It's not connected to the turn signal, so just be careful with that. Right there. Turn it once out. I mean, not because it's stuck in there from this crack. So I need to get that out. Oh, my bumper support came off. 
definitely happen when I freaking crashed. So that was a little bit inconvenient, but I got the bumper off. So the sun is finally down. I finished the other headlight. It was way too hot to try and do this one, so I waited until the sun was down. After you remove the bumper, you're going to want to take off this headlight bracket. One there. Two on the side where, like, the side marker is at. Four. And five. There's one clip. It's getting so dark. And I'm so annoyed, but it was just so hot. I didn't want to put the tent on. So once you have this, you take out the bracket and kind of just let it hang there. So you're going to take the wiring harness that comes with the VLANs. The yellow is going to go with red. The black is going to go with the regular ground and black one. And then the white is going to go with green. So I'm going to write that down so that you guys can remember that. You're going to take like that much and take off this rubber, the protector basically. So you can use little like the wire cutters and just find the size and just take it out if you really don't have that you can use a little blade and just kind of cut like a 360 of it and then cut down the middle but do not cut the wire you'll be able to feel just do like a very small cut and then cut straight into it and then like kind of open it like a little book like a little sleeve use either of those and if you really really don't have anything you can honestly bite it off literally grab where you want to bite it i don't know if i should do it should i do it a show i'm gonna do it just so you know i'm not lying uh -huh. and like that after you get one piece out you can twist it just so they're not all like frayed out so just twist do that to the other two wires i'm just gonna expose the wire and then twist it so again, you're doing this all, I'm just doing this all on the wiring harness. I'm not even like taking it out, or I guess I could have taken out the headlight. From here, there's this. So just unplug that connector, and then my LED will, I will just take out. Uh, this one, you literally just hold this down, and you need two hands, that's why I didn't record. You hold that down, and then pull both of them apart. We pull these both apart just my leds these i can just untwist them and i'll take it out so now i'm going to do the same thing that i did to this one to the other wires just expose a little bit of wire and twist it so I am not a professional, so definitely watch a lot of videos so you can really see like everyone's kind of techniques. Because I might be doing something different that someone else does. So yeah. I have all of the three wires. Can you see that? Yeah. Yeah, all the three wires. Now this is where you're going to have to connect the wires from the turn signal. These are the three wires that we're gonna be connecting. So you see that? So again, the yellow is with the red, the white is with the green, and the black is with the black. There's honestly no room to work here, so I'm going to cut a little bit of the sleeve here. I'm gonna cut straight down, and make sure you don't cut the wires or anything. So like this, now you have a little opening. So with green, what you're going to want to do is make a little indentation, kind of go a little bit past where the sleeve is at, not too close to it, because we are wrapping the exposed wire to these. So this is where we are connecting both of them, the harness and these wires. Cut. And cut like that. Now you want to get like a little space there, maybe like my nail size like that much space i don't know if that helps so what i'm gonna do is cut another little part i really hope i'm explaining this okay i cut in half of those oh i just cut myself and open the little sleeve this is just my way of cutting it but if you have another way of like getting a cut open 
and there you go see how much there is so it's about like a little more than my nail I went it's okay though but so here you go you got that much wire white it says here it is for your daytime running lights so yeah so what you're gonna want to do is get both of them I got my white and the green I just kind of start there like kind of make a t-cross where the wire ends or whatever and you just start twisting this and make sure it's kind of like snug on there so that it gets a good connection twist twist okay so after you want to get that you want to just get some like wire pliers or clips or something and just like kind of squeeze it a little bit don't overdo this and like I don't know just very very lightly kind of tap it just so it has a really like snug and huggy huggy so now we have started putting the wiring harness to this this is where the T tappers come into play this is where it's different because I had to twist mine because I am using electrical tape but if you were using maybe like a quick T tapper you would probably like put both of them. It just depends what you use. There's other videos that actually use the tea tappers, so you might want to look around, but I am using electrical tape. So I'm gonna use maybe like a little bit more than an inch and just cut that. I'm just going to wrap. I'm going to do the same with the other ones. So I'm going to do the red one next. And remember, red goes with yellow. And you see how it just like kind of comes off like a little sleeve. Hello goes with the red. Ease like that and start twisting the yellow. Cover that up again. So there we go. So now we have wired this and this is supposed to be the tricky part. So now you got the tricky part done. So now that we got it all wired, I have the headlight right here. I don't even think I showed you guys. Did I show it to you? I'm so bad. I still have the protector on, but I'll show you guys at the end. You're gonna wanna take off the turn signal bulb and it literally just comes off. So you wanna take off this, like the connector that it was connected to because we are connecting this one. This one looks like a triangle. It is on the VLAN and this triangle is going to go to this whole connection like that. So literally, there's a little tab type of thing. There we go. I want to make sure you hear the little clicks and everything. You get the wiring harness that came with the VLAN and you connect the gray to the gray like that. There we go. So you got two now. And then this blue is going to go back inside where you took out the headlight from. That's until then, basically. But what now we need to figure out is my LED bulb. So these are the ones I have. And I have the last fit ones. Last fit, lace fit, I don't know. But these are H11s and you need H7s for these. So if you want to make your life easier, get yourself some H7s. But I really want to put these on today and I didn't get bulbs ahead of time so i'm going to do that just literally twist it off like a little cap and now you have this so this is where i struggled to get these little doids whatever out this is also going to come out and you're going to try and make this fit you're going to think it doesn't fit but it fits because i made it fit on the other one you can see here these two connections is where it would go but they don't fit each other so you need to basically manually do it. So when you take these two out, these both go in here and then you have a connection. If you just twist hard enough to the left, it will come off. So here, now you're left with this and this is what we need to mess with to put in our LEDs. Get this green bracket on the orange gasket seal rubber thing. So I'm gonna just align it because it's gonna try and move because it is it easily moves up and down. So 
I'm kind of, I'm just going to try and place it. Oh my god, you see how it's like squeezing? To kind of have it, just squeeze it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. It won't want to stay, but it will, I promise, if you try. Okay. This is where, if not, this is where I couldn't get it. So I literally pushed it with my teeth. So as you can see, it is like a little bit wrinkly, but it is snug on there and it is on there. So now this is where we need to connect. You need to take these out to connect to your LED. Inside, there is a little hook hanging on. So you need to get that hook out. So there's two hooks kind of hanging onto each other. So when you're trying to get one, the other one is still hanging. So you kind of just have to like, Oh my gosh, that was so much easier than the other one. Okay, like I got it in and just kind of try and push it. No, this is what happened to the other one. Like I would get it halfway up. Oops, I bet the black part. But after I got like most of it out, I just used this and yanked it out. But I kind of bent a little bit of this little tab up here. So I really, really, really hope that didn't ruin anything. This is where these connect to this. I know it's kind of dark now. There really isn't a specific spot that it goes. You just kind of have to trial and error. So if it doesn't work, then just switch them to the opposite side. Put it in between. And then just push them. You might not want to push them all the way in case they don't work, but on the actual VLAN, there is this little adapter that has a yellow rubber ring around it. So there are two of them right here, and you're going to want to disconnect this white one. It's really easy to disconnect, and then you plug in the one that is empty. And just kind of leave the other one. It is like a pull-up tab. So it's like that. Like that. Put the other one that I showed you guys in there instead. Like that. Connect this now. So again, the blue goes with this gray one down here. Let's go test this out. Okay, so headlight is not on. So that means the things were backwards, so I have to re-flip them. Never even plugged in the LED in its spot, so there was nothing to come out. Put the actual light back in its place. And just kind of twist it back in. I'm gonna leave this on just so like when I'm touching it, then you're gonna want to put the bracket back on. Try and put it back into place. So again, my FRS bumper is still on. It's not gonna look as good. It's all broken, but by tomorrow, I will have my new bumper on and it's gonna look so good. I'm so excited. So I just finished installing the VLANs and honestly, it wasn't as bad as I thought. I know it is really confusing just seeing all the wires out and it's just like, what hopefully everything i said in the video was at least somewhat useful or at least took a little bit of information because the v-lines just look so good and they look so aggressive so let me know what you guys think about them if you like them if you don't it's okay my bumper is going on tomorrow so after you guys see this video hopefully that video is out soon after i really hope you guys enjoyed this install let me know what you guys think and if you guys have any other video suggestions make sure to leave them down below and i'll see you guys in my next video bye